Hello everybody. I know this ain't my usual thing. You know, for about the last year I've done 90% just uh, Chevelle videos and stuff. But like I mentioned in the last video, that ain't the only thing I have to work on. So uh, this is a 2.2 Ecotech out of a... 2002 Cavalier That was honestly probably the restiest 2002 Cavalier I've ever seen down here But uh, It runs But I'm gonna put rings and timing set in it and stuff like that and uh, Put it in that silver four-door down there because that car is a uh, pretty nice car. It just needed an engine. These Ecotecs are bad for uh, breaking time and chains, skipping gears and stuff. And that one was still running, but it had some slap to it. So I want to go ahead and rebuild it before it uh, breaks the chain and bends every valve in it. So. Uh, That'll be its own video soon. It ain't got any rust under it anywhere. It's, it's in really good shape. That one had a hundred and uh, uh, 220,000, I think. And uh, Ecotechs are kind of uh, really bad for breaking time and chains and skipping and jumping and everything. So uh, it got wore out and uh, Skip time and been every valve in it. That will be its own video soon. Got belts for that car. What ended up being wrong with it was uh, power steering alternator belt was wore out and it was screeching. So, uh, I got on Rock Auto and uh, came up with these two belts for uh, after shipping and everything for $15. So. All right. Sorry about the sun and stuff, but uh, I put a power steering pump on this car and uh, I'm going to hook the battery up and see if it works. It was. Uh, $25 at a junkyard, so I mean, it's, you know, not spending more for a power steering pump than that car's worth. Okay. Everybody likes junky old cars, right? It ain't always, it ain't always a Chevelle. There's other things, and the main reason I wanted to start making videos like this every now and then is I get bored making the same stuff all the time, and I figure there's got to be a few people get bored watching the same stuff every time yeah I'm gonna have to jack this car up
All right. I'll uh, back the truck up to this, uh, use the cable and pull the car up on the truck and lift the car back up and then I might show you a little bit more, but uh, I'll be back in a second either way. All right, so uh, I ended up not showing you what I did, but uh, Let's say this is the back edge of the rollback bed. Well, I put the car up on it and had the front wheels kind of dangling off. And I cranked it and just turned the wheel back and forth for probably five minutes. I mean, I gave it every chance that I could for it to get whatever air was in that pump or whatever it was out. And it didn't fit it. I really shouldn't have had to do that anyway because uh, I've changed a bunch of pumps on cat on neons and stuff like that and I've, I've never had that much trouble getting them to work afterwards so I guess uh, maybe the pumps bad but I'm gonna take the pressure line loose tomorrow and uh, I have another one and just put a piece of hose on it and let it pump back into the reservoir maybe that'll fix it anyway uh, um, these videos aren't going to be very long maybe seven minutes or something eight minutes so I'll make another one and uh, show you I guess uh, whether or not I was able to get that working and uh, Show you something else like uh, my GSS, putting the belts back on that car, uh, different things. Uh, maybe if maybe a few people's made them made it to the end of this video. The reason I'm doing this is it, it's more like I used to do. I used to make videos that showed a little bit of everything, and hadn't done that. In a very long time, most of the videos have been just Chevelle or something else. And I wanted to get back to uh, more of a vlog style for a while. Just, there's still going to be Chevelle only videos. And there's still going to be an occasional car show and stuff like that. But... I kind of enjoy doing this kind of video more than the rest of them all the time. So, anyway, I hope you just enjoyed this, and uh, I'll see you again next time. Bye.